Hey guys, how's it going? It's Space Cowboy here. Welcome back to the Space Cowboy Show. And today, we're going to be doing a couple of things. Now, obviously, this won't be all in one setting because I'm not doing this for like five hours. <laughs> but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be um, going through each of the position groups for the Cowboys um, on both offense, defense, special team, you know, whatever. And we're going to try and look and see, okay... What can we do to improve each of these positions? What's the status report? Where do I think the Cowboys are at on a position by position basis? Uh, we're going to do this, you know, all separate videos and then, you know, all that other stuff. If you want to, feel free to leave a comment down. How do you feel about the situation at that specific area? Right now, we're going to be talking about quarterbacks and then we'll go through the offense first. Then we'll get to the defense and then... We'll go to special teams as just one giant thing. And then that should do it. And hopefully this will all be done before mini camps begin and all that other stuff. So, without further ado, and thank you for the introduction, let's get straight into talking about the quarterbacks on our depth chart. Now, obviously, the first one, we all know him, Dak Prescott, number four. He's your first string quarterback as of right now. And I personally think... Look, there, there's nothing we got to really worry about, but more so we're just expecting improvement, obviously. We're expecting with the addition of John Kitna and then Kellen Moore being the offensive coordinator. So not only are you having a good quarterback coach teach Dak Prescott what to do, you're also, you're also having an offensive coordinator to build an offense that can fit our system, okay? And with Dak Prescott, we know what the issues are, you know, the deep ball accuracy getting a bit more refined, you know, the, the feet work being more refined as well, and other key aspects that he needs to focus in on. You know, he has the intangibles, we all know this, I don't have to go any further than that, but we do need to talk about the two guys behind him, that being Cooper Rush, number seven, and Mike White, number three. So let's start with Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush was added to this team in 2017 as an you know undrafted free agent, excuse me. And you know he impressed in the 2017 preseason, you know, he had fantastic stats, he looked great, and he was competing with Kellen Moore for the right to be Dak Prescott's backup. And you know, he definitely did uh end up winning that out. I mean, obviously we all know that fiasco about how they wouldn't let go of Kellen Moore and it took until, you know, the very end for us to finally let go of Kellen Moore, even though, you know, he was still lingering. As a player, I'm not saying as a coach and stuff like that, obviously, if you paid attention. <laughs> yeah, and then Cooper Rush, you know, he looked great, like I said. And, you know, we thought, hey, maybe we have a solid backup in case, hey, if Dak, something happened to Dak, we got something. And then, you know, you know, Dak Prescott continuously playing all of his games. And then Cooper Rush, the following preseason, took a nosedive, okay? Uh, he did not look at all the great. And I'm not expecting him to be perfect, you know? it's it's I'm not expecting him to throw 20 touchdowns in the preseason. However, he did take a noticeable dip. Looking at his stats from what I got for 2018, I couldn't look at 2017 because they wouldn't register this, unfortunately. Uh, he had a 62.2% uh, completion percentage. He had 358 yards, a touchdown, and four interceptions with a QBR of 56. Now, obviously, when you do this on 74 attempts and you only start two games in a preseason and, you know, you only got things from guys, you might say, oh, that's all right. Well, here's the thing. We try, we need to... Obviously, I don't take so much weight into the preseason to determine, oh my god, this guy's going to be a complete bum. But it's just, you know, you would expect something, of course. You would expect something a bit better. And obviously, we don't know because, um, you know, sometimes, you know, play, you know, the preseason, for the most part, you know, doesn't really re reflect, um, you know, what backup guys can or can't do, you know. And I'm not trying to create excuses for Cooper Rush, but obviously, you know, he did not look that impressive in the preseason. And neither did uh, Mike White. Mike White did not start a single game in the preseason. He had a slight better completion percentage at 62.9%. He 
he had 414 yards and only one interception. So he did, you know, while he did theoretically play better than Cooper Rush, wasn't by a lot. And, you know, the, here's the thing. I'm not trying to dog on these guys. What, what I see what the Cowboys are trying to do is they're trying to develop a backup for Dak Prescott, you know, um, they're trying to invest in a backup quarterback just in case something were to happen, knock on wood. And the problem is, is that I've always been a firm believer that you need to have a veteran backup quarterback. It is hard to develop, okay, a rookie quarterback into a competent backup. Yes, yeah, some teams do a fantastic job at doing it. The Patriots are a prime example. They have a good system in place that allows for the quarterbacks to be successful regardless of their skill set, okay? And then you, well, we know how the Cowboys are with backup quarterbacks. Unfortunately, you know, uh, we're lucky that we have Dak Prescott and we need to make sure, like, the last best, you know, backup we've had in the past what, five, or I'll even say decade. Uh, John Kidna, the quarterback coach, you know, he was the last backup quarterback to kind of step in and win multiple games. The only other backup that's won games, and we're not including Dak Prescott when Tony Romo was hurt, was Matt Castle. And the team was already done, more or less. So, for me, I think that we need to have a situation to where we can get a backup quarterback to hold us down just in case something were to happen, you know. And, you know, you're not really, uh, you're not uh, blessed with an opportunity, like, to have, hypothetically, some competent backup, like, um, like a Nick Foles, for example, that can, you know, fit, plug in and do what he's got to do, you know. And I think that this is important, because we want someone that we can be like, okay, we can win with this guy as long, you know, and, and we can be comfortable with that. Obviously, you know, if you have a backup, you're not guaranteed to win, like, however many games. But you want to have someone that's competent enough to at least keep the ship in the right direction as long as we can. Okay. Now, what will the Cowboys do at quarterback? Uh, so, obviously, Dak Prescott, you know, that's a given. He's staying on the roster. Question is, do you keep three quarterbacks? And to me, no. You don't need to keep three quarterbacks, especially with what you got, because I feel like we can use up a roster spot somewhere else as opposed to the only time we should have more than one core more than two quarterbacks is if something were to happen to Dak. Okay. Um, and that's just uh hook, line, and sinker, okay. At this point, um, I think it's gonna be Dak number one, and I think it's gonna it's it's gonna come down to because I guarantee you, like Cooper Rush. He's not going to be Dak's backup forever, okay? I think that the Cowboys um, will hold on to him at most this entire year, and then they'll go try to find another backup quarterback. Or they're hoping that Mike White can, you know, take that step forward, and maybe they're like, well, we, I feel like we're more comfortable with Cooper, or we're more comfortable with Mike White than Cooper. And if they, like, And if they show the same amount of, talent you might as well keep mike white because not only is he under contract longer and you can ride with him for a bit longer you know you don't got to worry about investing so much capital into the backup quarterback position but anyways i don't want to go on for too long because there's only three guys at this position i think i would grade our quarterbacks a situation as i would say um B, like a solid B, B minus. Uh, you know, the fact of the matter is, is that um, that's being held up by Dak Prescott doing what he's doing, okay? And uh, it's the backup quarterback position that's completely dragging down this grade, okay? I'm not giving it solely for Dak Prescott. I'm giving it for solely what we have at that position, okay? So what do you guys think about our quarterback position? Do you think we're set at backup quarterback? Do you think we need to go get a veteran quarterback? You know, all that other stuff. Feel free to leave that in the comment section below. If you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe and the notification bell to get notified when I go live. And thank you for watching this video, and I'll be seeing you guys later. Peace out, guys. Bye-bye.